This is the new Rotolite Titan X2 soft light. Cinema 5D at IBC 2019 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video and photo solutions. SERP, better films. Lawa, unique cinema and photography lenses. And Tilta, arm your camera. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Rod from Rotolite. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? I'm always good. Thank good. you very much. And before we even start about the new product that we want to show, yeah. a little bit about the company. You are, it's a family business, actually. It is a family business, yeah. I started the business with my father uh, 12 years ago. And actually, my mother is involved as well on the accounting side. My dad had the idea for the very first light, and uh, I had the idea for the, the business and the marketing vision, if you like. And so we said, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's do a business. Let's, let's create a business around lights. Yeah. And you know, both of us have a passion for photography and filmmaking, uh, also music. Uh, but creative uh, industries and so we applied that same passion to uh, technology and actually you're quite known in the broadcast industry and this Titan that you're showing here is a move to the cine cinema uh, um, industry what happened why is that well you know I think Rotolite is known for being at the forefront of innovation with a number of industry first technologies uh, we were the first with Wi-Fi technology in 2011. We were the one of the first with the color temperature display. We're also known in the photography on the flash side. We had a really unique LED with the flash technology. So I think what we've always looked to do is to find niches and gaps in the market where we think there's an opportunity for an advancing technology. And we spotted that opportunity in the cinema market to say, we can make a light that we think is truly different and truly unique. And that's what we've achieved with the Titan. Okay, so when you talk about uniqueness, yeah. What is so unique about this new light? Because this is IBC 2019. Yeah. I wish I could show the guys at home. It's full of so many brands and so many lights. Lights are everywhere. Yeah. What is so special about the Titan? Well, that's a good question. It's like where to start. Right? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so I think the, the, the main thing with the Titan is the, is the overall combination of the package. So lights nowadays, you know, a few years ago, the really all they could do is turn on and off and maybe dim. But lights are getting more and more advanced. They can do things like special effects, like RGB. And um, yet, on most lights, you have very tiny little displays. It's, you've got to go into a menu and a sub-menu and a sub-menu. And to access these features, you've got to read very advanced manuals. And so what we wanted to say is we want to design a light that is state-of-the-art technology with all of those great features and more, but design it in a way that's intuitive, this fast, that you can take it out of the box. You don't need to open the manual, and you will understand straight away how to work the light and then at the same time have a couple of one or two really special features so that it really separates from the competition okay so of course i mean if you're completely honest like always we've seen already some of the technologies for example special effects and so on mm -hmm. but this specific light has one killer feature as far as i'm concerned what is this killer feature so i think the killer feature you're referring to that everyone's very excited about is a, is a technology called smart soft it's the world's first electronic diffusion, which allows you to control diffusion, focus, and spread in a studio light that's also an RGB light. And really what it's doing is it's controlling the beam angle of the light between 60 degrees and 115 degrees. I can dial the diffusion right in the back of the light here. I can also control it from DMX, from wireless DMX, and also from an app with the Bluetooth. And it gives me the control to change the look to actually go from a soft light to more of a hard point light source. So it's effectively almost like two lights in one. And one of the advantages with RGB, of course, is you're eliminating the need for filters. But if you still have to climb up the truss to adjust the diffusion, you still haven't fully eliminated the problem. So Titan is the first light that you can set it on the truss and never again touch it. And you told me that a lot of the studios, of the big studios, are interested in this light exactly because of that reason it will save so much time when you need to to, to uh, gel stuff and put filters yeah now you're eliminating eliminating this problem that's exactly right you know you don't have to buy you know soft and medium and heavy diffusers you can just have one light and actually you can do that whole range of diffusion straight from the back of the light it's quick it's fast and it's repeatable so you can save your settings for future okay so it is very reliable that's what you're saying yes technically yeah how do you achieve this because it's interesting. Yeah. 
We're using um, an advanced uh, liquid crystal display that has an electrical current that allows us to change the way that the particles react to that. So the natural resting state of the technology is fully diffused. And then we use electricity actually to uh, change the way that it reacts and it change the way the lights hits and adjust the spread. So one of the technical challenges in doing that is that um, there is the possibility, if you didn't compensate for it, to introduce a flicker because with uh, electricity you have the current and the pulse. So one really cool feature with this, I mean the light is already flicker free to a very high frame rate. But if you're shooting really like Phantom or FS7, something like that, and you want to have maybe a thousand frames a second or more, you can actually tell the light what frame rate you're shooting at, and then it adjusts the frequency to make sure there's never any flicker at all. So there's uh, some kind of uh, there's some opportunities and technical challenges we had to solve with this technology to make it work in the field. The other one is that there's the possibility for color shift if you didn't correct for it. So as you change the diffusion it can add a little bit of adjustment to maybe magenta or to green. And so with the light, it automatically adjusts for that. So we've sampled the light at every single 1%, 2%. The light has a lookup table and it says, okay, I know that at 31% diffusion, I need to adjust the RGB to make sure my color has no shift at all. So by overcoming those challenges in this light, which is how the subject of our patent, uh, we've managed to finally bring this technology to the market in a really reliable way. How do you control this? So one of the great things with this is this is the first touch screen in a, in a two by one panel on the market. So you can literally drag, as you can see here, green magenta corrections. I can drag in my white balance. And then let's say you're on the set and the DP said, you know, I want a, I want a red filter for this look. There's a couple of different ways you could do it. You could actually go to the hue saturation page and say, you know, I want, if I, if I turn the power up of the light, we'll see this a little bit now. I want, for example, maybe a, a blue look and I want to dial in exactly the saturation of the blue, or if you're used to working with your favorite Lee or Roscoe filters, you can go straight to our filter page here, and this has the biggest range of inbuilt filters that I'm aware of on the market, so over 1,400 inbuilt filters, Lee, Roscoe, Gam Color, and many others, and you can be very clever. If you know the number of the filter that you want, you literally can go and dial it in straight away. If you just said, I know I want a blue filter, but I'm not sure exactly what I want, you could tap blue, for example, and then it will cycle through every version of blue by Lee and Roscoe and Gat until you find the exact one that you want. So it's very, very simple to control. You can then control how much of the filter you have, uh, so you can increase or decrease the intensity. And then when it's perfect, you can save the preset and call this scene one, scene two. So when you come back later, it's straight away, one second, quick touch. When it comes to strength, light strength, yeah. How strong is this light actually? Because almost every manufacturer that I will know, or that I know, sorry, will say ours is the strongest. Yep. So to give you specifics, at three meters, which is just a common measuring distance, we're achieving 2,220 lux. Now, I guess for context, uh, the advertised specification of, uh, for example, a Sky Panel S60 is 1,400, roughly 1,450, and uh, the Gemini 2x1 is around 960. So you're getting the sense that we're somewhere between 50% to 100% brighter than other comparable lights in the market. Um, and we're achieving that by using the absolute latest technology in RGBWW. So we've got two white chips instead of just one that allows us to get a better color rendering. So we're achieving a TLCI of 98, so fantastic accuracy. A small demonstration. Of course, that's the easy way and it doesn't yeah. say much, yeah. but still I always like, like it because it's impressive. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we turn this around. We have it in the blue setting now. Yeah. But, um, Let's put it on white for a second. Okay. 3% okay. or zero. And then full power. Full power. Okay. And back. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to um, the construction, the construction of, the, of this light, any special materials are you using? Yeah, very special materials. So uh, on, for example, one of the bits of feedback we have is it has to be easy to transport around set. So we've got uh, cast aluminum handles, which are strong uh, and really give that rigidity. So this is designed to last. Even little details like when you take it off the truss, it's got a foot, so it's not going to fall over. You can use it on the floor. We're actually making this everything from the plastics to the electronics to the glass assembly. The complete assembly is in the UK. So we guarantee the color accuracy to within 50 Kelvin of the displayed number. Um, and so really we understood if we we're gonna enter this market, it had to be the very best quality. So to the extent every light that ships comes with a sheet 
it told you this was built by Mark on the 1st of September. It has an individual test for color, for lux, for luminance output, individual to that light. Although it can be that this product will spend most of, most of uh, its life in the studio. Yes. Is it wa waterproof or weather? proof or whatever? So the product is IP20 as standard, so uh, if you want to use this outdoors, we have a full weather rain cover available that would allow you to actually mount the power supply also inside on the light, and you could use this in torrential rain conditions. And I can see here two fans at the back. Yep. How about the noise floor? So it's a really good question because people obviously can be very sensitive about that. So if you, if you have a listen now, I mean there's literally no sound at all. However, uh, one bit of a feature we were asked for is you can actually have uh, completely control how you want the fans to behave. So you can just completely turn them off if you would prefer. Uh, the light is also using active temperature sensors on the LED boards, on the driver chips, so it's constantly monitoring the light and it will make sure it never overheats. Also you can control the uh, fan setting over DMX. So even if the lights are in the studio, you don't have to send someone up there to adjust the fan parameters. So we're very aware of that and there's a lot of customizability and how you want the light to work inside. So I'm adjusting the diffusion now from completely diffused to completely clear. And it's completely seamless as you can see. Now what that allows me to do is to completely change the look, the angle, and it gives me a lot of creative possibilities on set. How about pricing yep. and availability? So uh, the pricing is available, starts from 4,000 uh, euros, so uh, you're looking at uh, around $46.99 and around uh, 3,500 pounds plus tax. Um, it's available in three models. We have a standard Kinoflow Swan Neck style uh, mount on the back. We also have a pole yoke um, uh, available and a standard yoke available. So different ways to control it. Um, everything comes with the power supply regionalized, of course. Um, the only additional accessories we have available is things like a DOP Choice uh, softbox and snap bag. We have a lovely uh, cart uh, that's been made available for six units on set. And there's uh, shipping, we're taking pre-orders now, uh, roadlight.com, uh, but it's shipping in November. Road, thank you very much. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.